Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome back to Farzalozi and I'm here with another new color grading tutorial. But this is a little bit different from my other tutorial. I won't use any camera raw, I won't use selective color, channel majors. So this is a little bit different. I'll use only hue and saturation adjustment layer. This is a very powerful tool but a little bit underrated. So this will be fun and new. Let's get started. Okay, uh, I'll read this picture. Look at this very beautiful picture with green leaves. I don't know what to read this, but very beautiful green. I will work on this green. I want a little bit uh, muted type of green, but that doesn't mean uh, the common moody green that we use, that we often see in Instagram and other uh, social media. The moody green, the camera of preset. This is not that type of moody green. It is a little bit different. I said it before. This is not as usual tutorial. So let's see okay uh i said it before that i will work on the uh, hue and saturation adjustment layer so go to the hue and saturation uh adjustment layer and look at all these options very carefully the first option is preset they are very uh default by default but right now we want to look at this uh then come into the uh the color option the reds color yellows green cyan blues and magenta all those uh, color channels and then the hue bar you all know how hue works uh, it will change the color and then the saturation it will increase or decrease the color the power of color and then the lightness it will control the uh, the darkness or the brightness of color and then look at these two slide they are very underrated but they are extremely powerful and in this tutorial mainly i'll talk about this slider these two sliders they are very very powerful let's see okay i said it before that i want to work with the uh, green color i want a little bit muted green so select the green colors from here and now uh, let's change the hue and look you can choose any color okay at first i'm going with like this okay i will fix it later but but look at this carefully this green is not affected this green is not affected and look at this here this green is not affected they are uh, looking ugly because they are not blended this green this green they are not affected by the changing of hue and now make it a little bit bigger and now come to this two slider the most important two slider look at this this one and this one this one and this one this indicates the range of your color okay this is the range you are working with color this is your color range okay if you sense anything in this three option it will affect on this range okay so here this green is not included in this range that's why they are not affected look at this very carefully now i want to increase the range just click on this and increase like this look at the changes okay let's make it a little bit smaller look at the changes very carefully i'm increasing the range look at this look at this part okay look add this it is beautiful and for this part i am increasing this look at this look at this okay let's increase this one a little bit it will help you the blend properly and now look at this again okay, let's put it here look at this this was the before and this is after this is very very useful and handy look at this look at this very carefully again select the greens and this is your color range so this two slider is very very important you can change your working color range and and do this kind of magic look at this it's very beautiful but i don't want this color right now so i am giving it like this now uh, let's decrease the saturation more i think uh, this color is looking uh, beautiful 
look at this and now look at this this was the before and this is after it's very easy and quick way to do this you can change any color look at this you can say you can give this color this is also very good i think yeah it, it looks really good so you can change any color you can give any color what you like so it's done now you can do some uh, minor adjustment from here look at this go to the uh, curves option and add some faded effects just click on this and just make a point and select this point and drag like this make it a little bit dark and look at this this was the before and this is after you can add a little bit vignette effect from here the gradient option and style radial uh, select here reverse and now just change the color to black increase the scale a little bit i think this is fine and now decrease the opacity look at this this was the before and this is after it looks really good i think this is fine okay if you want a little bit reddish color on the skin you can go for uh, the uh, color balance option and select your mid-tones and increase the value from here just a little plus eight i think this is looking very good look at this this was the before and this is after look at this right now this was the before the color grading and this is after it's really looking good okay now i want to rate us for this i want a new layer uh, so for new layer press shift plus ctrl plus ultra plus e now comes a new layer and i'm using my action you can download this action the link is on the description and this is free make sure you have subscribed okay so i think this is fine or maybe a little less okay and and i think i think now skin looks fine and just not paint on the skin just look at this this was the before and this is after the skin is now more smooth i think this is fine i think i should um let's let's work with the eyes a little bit and the rose and burn effect maybe press uh, create curves with the brightness and now press ctrl and i to hide it Okay, that's fine and now just paint on the white portion of the eyes now look at this the eyes looks perfect look at this this was the before and this is after the eyes oops is looking great okay now since the flow value around nine percent maybe and just add some shine on the skin like this so this is done look at this this was the before and this is after look at the shine it looks really good it looks lovely I think I think this is done the color grading the editing is totally done so look at this this was the before and this is after look at this it looks really good you can work with any color and make them gorgeous so if you love this technique love this tutorial if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe